Close your eyes and take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body and focus your attention there. Watch it as the breath comes in, watch it as the breath goes out. And ask yourself, how long is a good breath? Is long breathing good or is short breathing better? Fast, slow, heavy, light, deep or shallow? Experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels best for the body right now. And stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. We're trying to develop some good qualities in the mind. Qualities of mindfulness, keeping something in mind, alertness, watching what you're doing while you're doing it. And then ardency, trying to do this well. You have to look after the mind as your most important possession. And that's where all the good things in life get stored. We come to make merit at the monastery. We make merit through generosity, through virtue, and through meditation. And you want your merit to be complete. Just like someone who exercises. If you exercise only your arms but not your legs, your body gets out of proportion. Or if you study only some subjects in school and not others, you're, you're smart in those subjects but really dumb in others. You want to be a well-rounded person. So you want your merit to be well-rounded in just the same way. You already gave donations. You're sitting here, you're not doing anything to break the precepts. The important thing, though, is the qualities you develop in the mind. Because the mind is where you keep all the merit that you've made. Someone once came to see a John Fuang for the first time, and he asked her, where have you made merit? And she started naming the different monasteries she'd merit, made merit at. He said, why don't you make merit at your mind? Because merit is a quality of the mind. The activities of generosity, the activities of virtue, the activities of sitting here with your eyes closed. Okay, those are simply activities that help nurture merit, but the real merit is in the mind. It's a sense of well-being that comes from knowing you've done something good, something harmless. You've looked for happiness in a way. That doesn't harm anybody at all. That kind of happiness is rare in this world because so many different ways of looking for happiness cause problems. You either hurt yourself or you hurt other people. But this kind of merit, this kind of happiness, doesn't harm anybody at all. So you're being responsible in how you look for happiness. But it will make sure you have a good place to keep the merit that you've made, the, that sense of well-being, which is why we meditate. It's like having a pocket in your shirt. You want to make sure the pocket is well sewed, so that things you store in the pocket don't come leaking out. But for the most part, our minds are not like that. Our minds are full of leaks. They go leaking out the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body. Thoughts of the past, thoughts of the future. And our goodness seems to disappear, disappear, because we don't have a good place to keep it. But if you put money in your pocket and it leaks out, can you blame the money? The money is genuine money. The question is, do you have a good place to keep it? If there's a big hole in the pocket or you haven't sewed it up properly, then no matter how much genuine money you've got, it just keeps leaking away, leaking away. So make sure you have a good place to keep your merit, right here at the mind. So every time you think about the good you've done in your generosity, in your virtue, in your meditation, it literally is uplifting and energizing for the mind. Because the happiness of merit is not like the happiness of the world. So many times the pleasures of the world, you think about the things you did to get them, and sometimes it wasn't all that skillful. And even if it was a good pleasure, it doesn't last very long. So the memory of that kind of pleasure is not necessarily guaranteed to be a, a happy memory. But the memory of the merit you've made, that's always happy. So develop your powers of mindfulness so you can keep these good things in mind. So you have a good place to keep your merit so that when you need it, it'll be right there. You don't have to go searching around in other places for it. It'll just be right here at the mind, right where you need it.